Good afternoon. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Venus Dixon, and on behalf of the Miracle Hill Renewal staff, we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we want to welcome you to our graduation services today. We thank you for coming out and joining us as we celebrate victory in Jesus. So we are really grateful today for the ladies that we have who have successfully completed the renewal program. These two ladies have worked very hard. And I'm not gonna start crying before we get started. <laughs> but anyway, again, I just wanna welcome you and thank you for coming out and joining us today. At this time, um, I'm gonna ask Miss Anita Rogers if she would lead us in our opening prayer. And again, thank you so much for joining us today. Good afternoon, everyone. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be standing here before you, and I just want to say congratulations to our graduates. And like Miss Venus, I don't want to cry. You ladies are so beautiful. So beautiful. We give God the glory. Let us go to the Lord. Hmm. Almost wise glorious, loving, kind, and gentle Father. We just come before you this afternoon with humble hearts, thanking you for this day. For truly this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. For you have brought us here today, Lord God, in celebration of two lovely ladies, Lord, that have given their lives unto you, and that have cried and endured many trials and tribulations. But through it all, Lord God, your will has prevailed because they stand here as icons, Lord God, of your holiness and your righteousness. And Lord, they are an example for others that are behind them. So Lord, as their feet step out to the glorious task that is before them, may they not forget your sovereign grace. May they not forget your will in their lives. May they always in all things that they do, Lord, declare you as sovereign Lord in their lives. We thank you for the staff that is here. We thank you for every man, woman, Lord God, that is imparted in the lives of these ladies. So Lord, for the remainder of this celebration, not a service, but a celebration, may your name be lifted up that you draw all man unto you, Lord God. For this celebration is in your honor, for the glorious work the restoration, the healing, and the deliverance through your son, Jesus Christ, that is proclaimed and seen this day. It is in your son, Jesus' name, that we do pray. Amen. At this time, the Renewal Choir is going to come up and sing Better Than a Hallelujah Sometime with Mary Allison Jackson as the vocalist. God was a lullaby in the mother's tears in the dead of night. Better than a hallelujah sometimes. <clears throat> God was a trumpet's cry, soldiers breathing not to let him die. Better than a hallelujah sometimes. <clears throat> we pour out our miseries. God just hears.
days. That was a wonderful blessing back at the reunion, and I'm glad you got to do it again. Such a blessing. Um, it's my privilege to introduce our graduates today, Cheney Burton and Kara Myers. Uh, ladies, um, what a delight you've been. It's great to have seen the struggle you went through and the butterflies you became. And um, they're going to come and tell their story. It's really Jesus' story. It's a story of um, the living out of our Romans 12-2 verse. When they came in, they were conformed to the pattern of this world. But because of the mercy and grace of Jesus Christ and what he's done and their teachability, they have been transformed from the inside out by the renewing of their minds so that now they know what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. So they're going to come and share their stories with you, first Cheney and then Kara. It was here that my journey through addiction began. I began drinking with my sorority and smoking marijuana with my roommate. I skipped my classes on many occasions because I thought I couldn't miss any opportunity to be with my new friends for fear that they might replace me. I was at the end of myself and was left with nowhere to look but up. Before this point in my life, I had shunned absolutely everything that had to do with God. I denied his existence on a regular basis and made fun of those who sought comfort in him. I didn't understand how anyone could find peace and stability in a God that allowed such horrible things to happen on a daily basis. Renewal was the last place I wanted to come because of its strong Christian base. However, deep within me, I knew a spiritual connection was exactly what I was lacking. I arrived at Renewal in February of this year, committed and determined to do whatever necessary to end my battle with addiction and to find myself in the process. I accepted Christ as my Savior, knowing in my heart this would be the only way for me to find success. I'm graduating from Renewal with five areas of my life thoroughly mapped out for the future. Before Renewal, I lived each day as it came, never planning ahead for anything. Because of this, I squandered away years of my life. I now have goals for my future and plans in place to accomplish those goals. When I came to Renewal eight months ago, I thought I only needed help to overcome my addiction. Instead, I found out that my drug use was only a symptom of much deeper rooted issues. With God's help, I have been able to dig up some of those deeply rooted thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors and learn a new way of living. After graduation, I plan on entering the intern program at Renewal. I'm looking forward to giving back to a ministry that has given so much to me. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. My name is Carolyn Myers, and this is a brief testimony about how good our God is and how much he loves us. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. I began to drink heavily while taking every medication possible to deal with my bipolar diagnosis. I conformed to the pattern of the world through drugs, alcohol, and men in order to cope with the unmanageable pain I was feeling. God heard my prayers and sent me an angel named Penny to bless me with an opportunity to live again. Through Christ who strengthens me, as well as Penny and her family, I arrived at Shepherd's Gate on November 18th of last year, the day before my 34th birthday. After my first night, I experienced something I had never felt, the gift of unconditional love. And for the first time, I was accepted, encouraged, and comforted. In February, I finally made it to Renewal. Here, too, I have been received with open arms and unconditional love. I'm so grateful that not only did God choose me to be at Renewal for such a time as this, but he allowed such a beautiful ministry to be created. And what a true investment it is. If it were not for Miracle Hills volunteers and staff, I know I would have no hope, and without hope, I would be dead. Now, real briefly, and I promise you, I'll take about two minutes, and I'm trying to do that. I think what we're talking about here today is addiction. To me, addiction is a true form of darkness. It can get so deep that the light is not available. The path can't be found. People will stumble into the same hole over and over. Hopeless, seeking light from sources that cannot provide it. But we still seek, we still look, 
We still hope this time it's going to be different. It never is. But we have bought in it so deeply, we can't see the way out. Somebody has to lead us out. People still use chemicals, even though it's taken their life. It's killing them, destroying them. They still want it, because they don't know the true source of light. Many struggle for years before they ever find the light. Some find it, some don't. Some find it and go back to the darkness. Someone, I want to speak to the graduates just real briefly. Someone led each one of you to the light that only God can provide. He says that he's a true light. David said God lights his path. And I think finding the light is like finding an oasis in the desert. Can you imagine what it's like when somebody's out in the desert and just lost and they see the palm trees, they hear the water, they see that oasis? To me, I think that's what you found here, a, a place of refreshing, a place of safety. I think that's what renewal is. To be renewed is to be cleansed, to be washed, to have your eyes opened, to have the darkness removed from our hearts, to allow ourselves to see the light that only God can provide. You have hope. The light's been turned on.